Yes, family, this is our VIP bus here. We just pulled up to Jahadzi, and what you see is our tour members. We're 23 strong, just checking out our Black Star Pan African Community Office, which is right here in Joe Asebo community, which is the only established community so far in the town. Until we build our Black Star Pan African community. So for now, family, what we're doing is literally uh, renting a space here so we can use it for business operation. And that's so members and people who have interest can come and connect with us. And then we can show them the 15 acres and the 60 acres. Now the 15 acres is right directly straight ahead across about a mile. So. Uh, that's why we're in this location so we can get access to doing what we need to do on the land. Now this is an open office uh, space. Uh, we're using, there's no need to just make it all fancy and high tech. Uh, our goal is to build our own office headquarters. Aziba, come on, come on, journey out with me. We're just, is everything in this kitchen working? Pebble board, what do you call it? Peco board, a pe pebble board. What is this stuff called? Uh, uh, Cabinet. Cabinet. Door. Fresh wood. What's inside of this? Uh, fresh wood. It's particle. Uh, particle. Particle. Particle board. Fresh, fresh wood. Right. And you have yeah. the pebble on each side, of it, but so see, it stays together. When it's associated with water, it's supposed to be waterproof. Yes. This guy was not waterproof. Mm -hmm. So when 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 the sinks flooded, yeah, it flooded. It, the uh, and this is why we need to build our headquarters and that's why when we go up there we're going to show you some we're going to show you some clear land that's our business center and our community center right. Right. and because i don't want us to keep on investing money right. in this place right. Right. and dealing with the stress uh rather just for us to just build what we need and, uh, it, the kind of our standards so family this place is not bad but uh ultimately Ultimately, what I'm saying to you, family, if you've been listening to the recording, is the fact that if you want the quality of what you really want and live with, you must build it yourself and build all the things that you need. Uh, beyond that, you're going to deal with whatever you get. So that's the conversation. And you know me, I'm always being real about the conversation because our goal is to just elevate to another level. Uh, so that's some of the stress that we have to deal with. For me personally, I'll, what kind of what kind of floors do you have in your house? You have wood floor or carpet or something like that, right? Yeah, between carpet, the sun is wood, the is But in tile. America, in America, do you in America do you guys see a lot of tile? Not much because it's expensive. Yeah. So what I'm telling people in the video which we're creating is that they have to be clear about what they want. Other than you, you're just gonna get what you people are used to doing and used to building. So whatever standard, it seems like the same thing is flooded to where. Everybody designed the same thing. I mean, this is, I don't want to be in a tile flum. No, uh, we grew up in Jamaica where, you know, wood was the classic, and then in America where wood is like the thing to have. Whether it's fake wood, you know, it's the, uh, or what do you call it, laminate? Yeah, yeah so. Right. But not in this time of construction. It's always about the cost of the material. Oh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely understand the cost of the material. So what you can do, you can. Now this is a good, this right here is a really, if you had to get this tile in America, most people would never afford in America. One plate of this tile like it could run you thirty, forty, fifty dollars. But is that really what you Wait, want? Remember. Is that really what, what you want? Tile in your house? So family never left. So before we get too far into things, uh, Aziba, let me uh, come back here. So back here is where we have the uh, three bedrooms. So uh, one bathroom right here. This bathroom is separated by a shower and a bath, and then you have. Uh, two rooms that's um, this side is, by side. This so, one has been rented already, and the one next door. All right, so nice small room space. Uh, one of the things you're going to notice, family, and I'm just pointing things out to share with you, is the flaws on some of the, uh, the construction. So you come right here. These are your, these are your only electrical outlets, right? Um, those and those right there. 
All right. And you got, you got some. All right, so this is, the, this is literally have more outlets than I'm used to seeing. So it's three out of the four corners, which is good. Right. And then you come right here, we have some more outlets. So the electrical wires seem to be running okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now what I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to go to the back of the house and I'm looking for the meter. So this is the other bedroom. Um, can we see anything in here? There we go, that's fine. So we use this for storage, which is uh, fine. So decent outlets. How does the fans work? Yeah, they work pretty good. Right? And I'm not even going to go into this. Uh, I'll just do a little glimpse. Right. And this is the uh, main bedroom with its own bathroom. So it's three bedroom, two bathroom unit. And so these are not bad rentals if you're looking to rent it and then you turn around later on and build your home. Can, can, we, see, can we see the back? So, for people like myself that are trying, what we ultimately like to do, we like to grow food and we like to have a nice backyard. So, in your construction of your home, with you, your physical home, this is uh, once again a rental property. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're, you're running anything in your backyard, you run it at a sequence or you run it to where somebody tell you that you can't plant trees out here because that's ridiculous if you can't plant trees in your backyard. And the issue would be you have lines and wires and pipes everywhere with no yeah. coordination, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not run at a sequence to where everything in the middle is open. Right. Right. So these, these are all the things that you have to think about before you, um, you know, renting is what it is. But if you're looking to buy, uh, like, <laughs> they, you, they're not going to get me to, you know, they, they're still trying to sell us this property, right? Yeah. So we're not going to buy this property. We're going to build our own property, business center, right across. Office. On uh, the land. And the office will be right there in the uh, business center right. and also in the community center. So that's what we're talking about, our uh, family. Uh, so all of these are things I'm not trying to be hard on anybody. I just know the quality of standard of life that we as a people like in America. And if you want that, you have to be willing to put some additional work into making sure you get that. Uh, people are going to tell you just to go along, get along, and just accept how things are. And so if we don't have that, if, we, if we're moving from America, to not accept certain things. We shouldn't come to Africa and accept certain things. So uh, right. your home is your paradise and your empire. So I just want people to be comfortable. And then you have situations here, technical people that don't believe there should be no wires shown outside and everything should be run through walls and, and sealed and hidden. That's from someone who's been a you know, te uh, professional technical and electrical you know, troubleshooter, yeah. Yeah. or I should say, and a, an electrical and electronic technician. You see all the you see all the stuff right there, like right, right there. So so the deal is, that if I said, hey, I will buy the property, is it is anything gonna get fixed? No. So you gotta, I, you gotta fix it yourself. They'd have to make us a deal. So part of this also, family, you just gotta get some of your best people to negotiate with you. That's my good brother Muhammad in the background. And um, that's uh, if you're looking for a consultant or someone to help you be clear of these things, it's right. ideal. Right. So uh, the last thing um, we found out is that this entrance right here, which is, should have been completed like a few years back. Three years ago. Um, security people and I guess the neighborhood comes and I guess they figure that, you know, we just got money to get free water. So what, they just walk back here <laughs> and come tap our water? Yeah, the water's it, over here. Or, or even closer for them to do it. Yeah. So you come here and just tap to water right here. Yeah, I, I had to put a lock on it. So that's what we have to do right there, put a lock on it. Yeah. So this is why we need all the support and energy from your family so we can literally uh, start working on building to where when you come and you want home, you want the best of everything, you know, we can deliver it because right. what, we've, what we've been going through with uh, renting and what we've been going through with um, it's too much dealing with substandard uh, development. You should be tired of sitting on the master's table waiting for crumbs to fall. And this is the uh, you know I mean? and this is the, the carport. We, we don't have a vehicle here. But this is our carport. So I'm driving my carport, and my, uh, you pull your car in right here. So now what you're going to be dealing with is all kind of rain right. and nothing else. So the neighbors over here, this is what they did, and covered theirs. And the over there. So what kind of meter is this? 
this is uh, the old this meter. This is the old meter. So when am I going to get the new meter I paid money for? They didn't specify when when they're going to install the new. So I'm supposed to pay for a meter six months ago and then just wait till they decide to do it. If you get it at all, you know. These, these people act like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, and family, once again, we're not trying to be, you know, we're just trying to ask for love, help, support, and for people to work with us because we can't continue this mission by dealing with this foolishness. So we're asking you to, you know what I mean, send, some, send us some of your best technical people and business people so we can build what we're going to show you in a little bit, which is the Black Star Pan African community. Right, Azibo? That's what we're doing, right? We're looking to raise the energy for the community, for you as a people. That way, when you repatriate, you not have to deal with things like this. You can just deal with something professional and well organized. So we're building a safe haven, safe haven. So when things get rough in the U.S. or when you get tired of sitting on the master table <laughs> waiting for crumbs to call, you'll have a backup. We'll be your backup. We'll be your backup. There you go, family. So, and these are things that are unacceptable. So. You, you, like you, we couldn't have children here because this this is too detrimental. And then uh, on the other side of the property, you see more of those things. So we're here toughing it out, and we're gonna use this place to, just to keep things going. But our goal is to just get what we need to build in 2025. Dead serious. I've been I've been on it. So uh, with some additional uh, love and uh, and good people coming our way, we're gonna be able to make it happen. Now that's another thing too. The house is not painted. How long was the house supposed to be painted? I guess they were waiting for the painters over here. They started painting. We've only been here three years. Yeah. Uh, or I don't know how long we've been here, but we've been here for a lot. That's, I mean, I know slow, but that, that got, there got to be another word beyond slow for that because that's years. Yeah? Uh, what about procrastinate? Uh, you know, all of those things are all mixed in. And this right here, when are we going to get this painted? Hopefully, they, they, uh, uh, his, his house is next. His yeah, house is next. Alright, so what can be planted right here? Uh, this, this, is, this, is the, this is the lawn work that they did. Alright, so you can't really plant anything, right? No, you can't plant anything. Alright, so the septic system is right here? Yeah, this is septic right here. Uh, you guys are professionals at what y'all do. Uh, is that, is, does that make sense to put a septic system right here? And I'm not trying to like it being mean. I'm just trying to encourage us so we can build our own uh, own property to operate from. But this don't this belong in like the back or the side? Is that the septic system? Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah that's a septic for, tank. Yeah, that's for this bathroom right here. Ain't that the water meter there? Yeah, yeah that's for this bathroom. Yeah, this is septic tank. Yeah, but I'm saying, don't you put it in the back or the side of the yard? No, but the, for mine, it depends on two. It depends. The street, the urban planning on the street, where, yeah. the, where, the, where, the, where the drain runs. Yeah. Where, the, where the city, well, at, back home, we'll say where the city or the county. Where they land, where they land stop, yes. where it goes to each house. That's, that's like it. That. Yeah. But also, it stands on. But you can rerun, oh, everything can, can be like, routed, Professor. You can put it out of sight, out somewhere else, but it depends on. Don't make excuses for the folks that do this kind of terrible stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, water it run by, by gravity. Well, yeah. For me, like, like this, my safety tank is in front of my house because that is where. So it stands out like this. It, it, it stands out. Bigger, it's bigger than this. Very huge. So I think everybody's just used to a certain level of substandard to where it gets. Um, to where everybody believe it's okay. Well, I'm so, gonna tell you what it is, Momad, if you're gonna develop a settlement or you're gonna take a land. You have to plan gonna, that out okay, better. Say it like that. Yeah, exactly. But, but this, was, this would not be what you would expect. You would put it, you would put it out of sight, out of mind. If nothing else, you, 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 you try put, to put a little way from the house in the back to the side or something like that, that. yes. So you wouldn't say it and all that. But you, you have to have access. So what about that drainage right there? Oh, no, you didn't so I don't know what, brother. I'm, I'll be so lost. Is that supposed to run into that, or is that supposed to get pumped? I mean, that's a separate. It gets it's separate. I mean, it's a separate. It's a separate system. Drainage so and so, and so and. Do we have people that come and clean your septic tanks? Yeah, and suck out your I think every few years, yeah, exactly. Do you have company that can come and clean your tanks? When the last time they clean the septic? Uh, 
I never asked. I never asked. Good boy, but you're right. For, for, from, a, from an architectural standpoint and the layout of, of the terrain and the civil civil uh, civil engineer, he would not put it there. So mm -hmm. he, he would put it somewhere else. Out of the side, out of the he, he would know where the drainage system is. Right. The sewage, the septic, they'd put it over there at the side or either on the side of the house, stuff like that, out of sight. Also, what he would do, he wouldn't put it next to the water meter because he'd have a cross connection. There you go. You said there ain't you, no you, top of that. That that's, 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 that's clean water. And that's dirty water. See, see okay. what I'm saying? Okay. See, yes, so all of these things, family, what we're you telling you is that together. the flaws that... You want to make flaw, sure you suffer some way. See so, so, family, the flaws that you see in these designs is what we're looking to elevate to where we give you something more... Uh, you know, more uh, first class because this is not this is not it. Now, is it okay to live here and live in this development? Absolutely, but what we're looking to do is do something on another level where it's more matches your quality of life or what you're used to in America. So I got some of my best engineers, best, uh, best guys, that we have experts here, and we're, talk we're having this conversation because when we go to the Black Star Pan-African community now, we're gonna get into how we would run wires, how we would run certain things. Uh, right now, uh, Yo, yeah, we have our we business. Azebo, the business, <laughs> Azebo, the business and community center is clear, right? Yeah. So that's what we're going to focus on, and we're going to focus on how we're going to design the building, how we're going to design everything to where, it, uh, when you come up there in the future, you see a professional operation, and then you can have trust in us that we can deliver something to you on a higher level. And the builders that I've recruited, uh, you compare the houses that uh, you know I recruited some of our best builders. And we build great relationship. The houses that you're gonna see, the few uh, that you're gonna see, it, it looks uh, great. And what you're gonna see is lack of um, flaws like you see on this uh, property. But this is a uh, typical. It's a uh, small town. Uh, probably don't have the best talent, but that's what you have to think about. Uh, but the greatest opportunity is in a small town, a small undeveloped town, because you get to build a program and you get to put the things in that need to be put in. And you know it becomes contagious after a while. People are like, okay, you gotta, you know, you have a well laid out community. This look good. This look good. I like how the way you guys do all kind of high tech stuff: cameras, security system, walls, uh, roads, and so on. Uh, so that's the future of uh, someone like myself. Uh, enterprise is uh, real estate acquisition, real estate development, real estate management, and this uh, community uh, development. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with, family. So. So once again, family, the journey continues. Uh, we're gonna close out and uh, we're gonna make our way over to the community and uh, check out the land.